Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Today we'll be doing an oil change on BMW 745LI. This is a 2003 model, guys. <clears throat> and we'll be changing the oil today. We'll show you what we use, how to do it, and all that stuff. Stay with us, and we're gonna go ahead and start on it now. What we will need, guys, for the oil filter in order to remove it is a 24 millimeter socket, and we will need an Allen wrench okay and this one is uh let me find it i think i believe it's an eight eight millimeter okay oil filter right here approved by bmw and also we will need to uh, you need to make sure that the oil filter comes with the seals as well when you buy one they have different brands different preferences so <clears throat> i know mobile ones are really good ones but they didn't have any in stock and you need about seven quarts of oil or a little bit less. Mobile one we use 0W40 that meets the European formula. Okay, this certification right here. Okay, you can see this one right here. This one is for BMW right here. So if it meets that, the oil will work pretty good. Okay guys, you need to jack the car up, use a jack stand, preferably do that on both sides. If you jack it up on both sides, you'll be able to get the oil a little bit better. Okay, and... And when you go underneath, okay, right there, you have the oil plug. Okay, with that Allen wrench, just go ahead, take it out. Okay, preferably wear gloves, guys. Always wear gloves. Don't ask why we don't, we should. Okay, and just let it drain. Okay, guys, this is the oil plug right here. You can see with the washer. And most of the new filters come with a new one. So always replace that one so you can avoid small leaks. Okay, like that. Always make sure it's the right one as well. So we're going to let it drain now. Okay, it's still draining a little bit. So you guys, this is the filter right there. Okay, you can see with a 24 millimeter. Okay, we'll take it loose. After a couple revolutions, they tend to turn by hand. Okay, it's still, it's still tight. Okay, it's going to leak some, so be careful. Uh, never ever do the oil change if you're not uh, careful when the engine is hot because the oil will be hot and it can burn you really bad. If you wear gloves, protection, and know what you're doing, you can do it with a warm oil. But I'll pre uh, I'll, what I usually do, just start the car for about less than five minutes so the, the oil is warm but it's not hot. Okay, and the oil filter is out of there now. Okay, so we need to pull the filter out of the housing. And they could be stuck. Believe me, I mean, they could be stuck really bad sometimes. A cool feature about those guys is if you use a small Allen wrench, you can actually drain the filter before you remove it, so that way, you don't get uh, you don't get dirty and okay this is the filler there we're going to replace the seal now okay just get the new one install it you gotta make sure that you go the right place okay the right canal there okay and always apply oil on the new seal because if it's dry 
it will be hard to install and you can break it and it might get stuck really bad which will be hard to remove next time new fueler push it in all the way until it clicks and gets stuck okay like that okay we're ready to install the oil plug now everything is empty it drained really really good so get this one tight okay guys three things never to forget to get the oil plug tight to install the fueler get it tight and to put the oil cap back on the engine which we haven't done yet okay so now we're installing the fueler there and you can use a torque wrench you can find the torque specs for it if you want to but we usually do those without a torque wrench okay you'll be able to feel it when it stops pretty much that will be it now it's still going for the seal Okay, that's it right there. That's plenty. Don't put too much because you might break the housing. Okay, we're done underneath now. Next, we need to level the car, remove the jack, jack stand, open the hood and we will need to locate the oil cap. Okay, remove this one. You can even see the timing chain here. And we're going to add, it says uh, about seven quarters, but we usually put six and a half and we check it. This jack is five quarts, so we will add the whole thing, and after that, we will add about one and a half. Okay, now we have about 1.7 quarts on the second jack. Okay, we put some in the empty one, that way we know how much oil exactly we put. We will add this one, we'll check the level, start the car, check it after that again because it needs to fill up the oil filter all the way. Okay, we're almost, almost there now. Okay, that, that's all. So don't forget to put the oil cap back on. Okay, until it clicks. Now we're going to check the oil level before we start the vehicle, guys. Okay, uh, some models have dipsticks, some models you have to use the computer inside to check it out. Earlier models, they still do have the dipstick. Sorry, so let's see if that will be enough or not. Okay, it still feels low even before we start it. So we're going to add another half a quarter before we even attempt to start the car now. Okay, adding another half a quarter quick and we'll check the level again. We want to be at full, but not above full before we start it because the oil filter will take some of course, but do not overfill it because if you do, you can, uh, you can damage your catalytic converters. You can find more, more, more information in the manual for that. Okay, and it's practically almost to the full. If we wait a little bit more, it will get full because the oil is still going down. Next, we'll go ahead and start the engine. Okay, let it idle. For probably about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, and then all you need to do, turn it off and wait about five minutes for the oil to go down all the way and then you can check the level okay it's been about five minutes we're gonna pull the dipstick wipe it put it back in so we can get an accurate reading and see if we need to add a little bit more maybe okay it's on low with seven quarts it's on low 
so we'll definitely add about half more but always check yours depending how good you drained the oil too some people say a little bit less than seven quarts some people about say about seven and a half so it really depends on uh, how how well you drain the oil as well so uh, thank you guys for watching please subscribe that will be the whole procedure and see you guys next time